everybody and welcome to the 2015-16 season preview for UMass Dartmouth men's basketball. I'm joined by the head coach of the UMass Dartmouth men's basketball team, Brian Baptiste, entering his 33rd season at the helm. Uh, coach, always exciting whenever Little East basketball gets started. It's so competitive. You guys are right in the mix of it every single year. Uh, got to the conference semifinal last year, but you've got an opportunity to do something special here this year with a truly special player in Jordan Resendiz headlining your roster. Yeah, we're looking forward to the season. Uh, it should be an exciting one. And uh, Jordan was uh, picked a preseason uh, All-American second team. And, um, and I think he's going to have a, a, a really good year. And certainly, of course, it'll, it will take more than just him to put it all together. But he is really the headline grabber when you take a look at what you've got coming into this season. So he reached some pretty incredible heights toward the end of last year, most notably a 51-point performance in a home game against Keene State that helped propel you into the Little East tournament. Uh, when you're dealing with a player that can perform at that level, and you've, you've had your share of truly great players over the course of your career here, how do you build the team around them so that they're not a one-man show, but at the same time you're using them in the best way possible to get the best year you can out of that roster? Well, talent-wise, Jordan is head and shoulders above everybody we have. Uh, in the past years, we've, we've normally had two or three guys that were a similar caliber of, of Jordan. Uh, this year we don't have that, but with that being said, we have a lot of guys that are good role players that uh, have a good amount of talent that we feel – will play the other positions uh, on the floor and uh, be a good complement uh, to Jordan. And, of course, you get hit by the graduation bug every year, but this particular year you lose John Jenkos and Jake Laga, who were responsible for a pretty big portion of your offense, a lot of your shots and your perimeter shooting. Uh, so how do you go about replacing that big a share of the offense, and how do you keep the floor stretched uh, so that defenses have to respect the perimeter? Well, uh, John Robinson is uh, going to be one of our starters at the two-guard position. He's a very good offensive player, and uh, he's going to pick up a lot of the uh, load that John and, and Jake left behind. Um, besides him, uh, we're not sure where the other perimeter um, scoring is going to come from. I mean, uh, Tommy Keyes is a, is a good three-point shooter. He's going to come in and, and uh, play his share of minutes. Uh, but the difference in this year's team as opposed to last year's team is the inside game. Mm. We have a 6'8 a kid, a local kid out of New Bedford Volk, uh, who is surprising me at how well he's doing around the basket. He can score inside as well as anybody we've had in many years. So a lot of our scoring is going to be offset by him uh, close to the basket as opposed to what we had last year. Now, Jenkos led the country last year in three-point shooting with 51% from, wow. from the field, and he shot the ball a lot. It wasn't like mm -hmm. he only took a few. Uh, so that's going to be hard to replace, but I, I do see uh, a really good percentage coming out of Nick in the paint because he'll be so close to the basket. Glad you mentioned the inside game. Let's dive into that a little bit farther because last year rebounding did become something of an Achilles heel for your team. There were some nights where you played really good games against really good teams but just couldn't get the ball back when you needed it. Uh, that Trinity game at the beginning of the year in particular stands out. That's a team that almost went to the Final Four and you were right there with them in the final minute of your game there. So, uh, you know, rebounding is tough to come by at all levels of the sport. Uh, but how do you try to get the personnel you need you know, to get those big rebounds in tough games? Well, like any year, we play our best players. That's what we try to do. We try to find a way so that our most talented players get, the most, uh, get most of the minutes. It just so happens that this year, uh, Nick is one of our uh, most talented big men, and he's 6'8". We have Abby Akani back, uh, who was out with an injury last year for the entire year. He's 6'5 and has a lot of beef on him, so he's a big body. And we recruited a kid by the name of J uh, Jaleel Moyes, uh, out of Brockton, uh, who played at Massasoit coming in as a junior. He's only six foot three, but he led the junior college ranks last year in block shots. So we have three guys that have good size, uh, good abilities, and I think we'll be a better overall team rebounding team this year than we were last year. We also lost Wale, who was our defensive player of the year two years in a row. We anticipated him coming back because he's only played three years of basketball, but he'd been at school for four years. And we thought he would come back and uh, enter into a graduate program after taking three more additional courses to get his degree. But he was able to walk last spring taking three, uh, three credit classes at home from Lynn. So now it's saving him all that money 
Uh, he's putting off sure. graduate school, so that was a key loss for us. I mean, if we would have had him back, we would, we would be so much stronger uh, also. But uh, we do have some good size this year, and uh, that should lessen the blow of not having him. And your season is coming upon us here pretty quickly, beginning in mid-November, as it will every year, with the Hampton Inn Classic, which is something over the last 15 years or so you've really made a mainstay here in Dartmouth. And you brought in some quality competition this year with Mitchell, with Fitchburg, and with Springfield as well. So give us a little bit of a preview of that opening weekend and, and some of the opponents you're likely to see. Okay, we open up with Mitchell College. Um, like any year, when, when we decide who we're going to play, I look at who they graduate, you never know at that time who they're bringing in. So I thought that uh, Mitchell would be the best opponent for us. The other two teams uh, pretty, uh, have been good in the past, both Fitchburg and Springfield. Uh, Fitchburg has a new coach. He's done a great job, great recruiting. Uh, he recruits all, not all, but mostly junior college kids. So he comes in as a veteran team right away. Had a really good year last year in his first year as coaching. And now this year, uh, not only does he have a lot of those kids returning, most of them seniors because they're, uh, they were junior college kids coming in, and he got another really good class uh, along with them. So they're going to be a very competitive uh, team in the tournament. And lastly, I'll ask you about how things look within the Little East Conference landscape as Eastern Connecticut has really built something of a juggernaut here over these last few years. They're ranked in the preseason top 25 on d3hoops.com, but the conference tends to be top heavy every year, no matter who it is. There are usually three or four good teams at the top. Who are the teams to beat in addition to Eastern Connecticut this year? Well, I haven't seen, uh, we do the poll and we get all the recruits and all the returning players, and that's a good way to anticipate who's going to have the best team. I haven't seen all those numbers yet, but just going by what I know from last year, I would think Kane would be very good because they have the seven-footer back. Uh, Eastern Connecticut has already been ranked, so I know they're going to be pretty good. Rhode Island College had a, a very good team last year, and uh, I know a couple of kids that went there that we recruited, so I know they have some good talent. That's what I know so far. I think those teams, along with ourselves, will be at the upper uh, portion of the league. All right, Coach, best of luck to you this season and looking forward to seeing you back on the court. All right, thanks, John. All right, it's Brian Baptiste, head coach of the UMass Dartmouth men's basketball team. Basketball teams will get it going on Friday the 13th with the Hampton Inn Classic.